My name is Jimena Loveluck. I'm the health officer with the Washtenaw County Health Department. The Washtenaw County Health Department promotes health and works to prevent disease and injury in our community. The health department has the authority and responsibility to protect public health, including responding to disease outbreaks. This responsibility has been put to the test more than ever before as we continue to lead the COVID-19 response in our county more than eight months since our first confirmed case. COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations are growing exponentially in Washtenaw County and across Michigan, as well as many other states. The marked increase in cases is straining our public health capacity to such an extent that we've had to communicate to our residents that case investigation and contact tracing calls and emails from the health department are likely to be delayed. Whether you are faculty, staff, or a student at the University of Michigan, this impacts you as our staff works day in and day out to protect public health throughout our county. Washtenaw County has reported a total of 6,885 confirmed and probable cases of COVID-19 as of November 11th, a total of 133 new confirmed cases and nine hospitalizations were reported in the past 24 hours. For the first time since this past spring, we have had over 25 hospitalizations in Washtenaw County residents in a week. The average number of new cases per day was 97 for the past week, compared to 35 per day during the second week of October. During the last week of August, cases per day were even lower, averaging at about 17 cases per day. Now we are seeing significant community spread and increasing cases across the county. We are continually monitoring, adjusting our priorities, and working to expand our capacity as much as possible. We must also rely on strong partnerships and the cooperation of community members to follow public health guidelines. When COVID-19 cases started to increase in mid-October among undergraduate students at the University of Michigan and strain public health capacity, there was a coordinated response and recognition that additional restrictions needed to be put in place. After the health department's stay in place order expired on November 3rd, cases among U of M undergraduate students went from more than 60% of cases in Washtenaw County to less than 30% of cases. Unfortunately, the exponential growth in cases in our county and the extensive community spread are exactly what we feared would happen as winter approaches. Given our concerns about the coming months and our experience during the fall semester, we support the university's altered plans for the winter semester. We encourage all students who can continue their studies remotely to stay home at their permanent residence and not return to campus for the winter semester. In the remaining weeks of the fall semester, I want to emphasize the importance of critically evaluating all situations for risk and avoiding the four C's, crowded spaces, close contact, closed spaces, and cheering or loud talking. To reduce the spread of illness, the health department recommends wearing a face covering, maintaining six feet of distance from others not in your household, cleaning hands frequently, and avoiding others if you have any symptoms. These prevention strategies are most effective when combined. As you prepare to go home for Thanksgiving, think about how to protect your family, friends, and community from illness. Students traveling across Michigan or other states to visit friends and family over the holidays risk bringing COVID-19 home with them, fueling outbreaks with their households and communities and reintroducing COVID-19 to campuses if they return. We encourage students to follow the U of M departure testing protocol. Focus on essential activities only with COVID-19 precautions before returning home and continue to follow prevention strategies when you are with your family. We recognize the many challenges that COVID-19 has created for students, workers, and families, and extend our appreciation for doing your part to stay healthy and safe.